I just got this in. It's a box here, and inside I have a container of uh, Rochelle salt. And it, it's powder form. The idea that I have here is to uh, melt it down. I'm cutting out uh, from some foam board I had here. Got this at uh, uh, Michael's, like a hobby shop or whatever. Okay, so it's a, some foam board. I'm using this because it's. Uh, I'm gonna make a mold uh, for my for my crystal, and um, so what I did is I cut out um, two millimeters this way, four millimeters here, four two millimeters two millimeters this way, four millimeters here, two millimeters, and then four millimeters. So basically, I cut, and then I went and I cut. Uh, I cut a line, not all the way through, but I cut a line in each one of these so I can fold them. I'll turn it over this way and bend it like this, bend it like that, bend it like that. Okay, um, I got them blow them. Uh, copper plate cut out here and I'm going to place it on this uh, piece of foam board and then I'm going to take this foam board that I had cut out earlier and I'm going to place it right on top of it like that and I'm going to hot glue gun it down uh, to the foam board below okay so now I've made this little box out of uh, foam, this uh, foam board, stiff. Um, I think it can take the heat of the of the uh, crystal. Uh, now the, the um, only thing I worry about is that the the hot glue might melt. Um, could be a problem. I might tie this with a a wire or something. I don't know to reinforce it. But, but, you know, I'll try it, see what happens. So I have an electrode at the bottom there, which uh, I'll hook an alligator clip up to this end. And you can see there how that looks. And then I make this electrode here. And it's aluminum. It's an aluminum piece that I folded around and glued, hot glued to this piece of foam board. And then I also attached a uh, piece of this uh, steel fencing or iron fencing that's coated with zinc or it's galvanized. Uh, I just want to cover my bases. I, I know that zinc is good for uh, uh, as an electrode pour the crystal in. I'll put this on top and I'll kind of force it down in there and press that crystal down so it's smooth so it'll flatten out um, I do I do suspect that uh, the crystal will form inside of this electrode here but it doesn't matter for what I'm going to do for testing it I might just leave that embedded in the crystal anyway and leave these two in place okay <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do I'm going to make it like I made the crystal cells, uh, the Hutchinson crystal cells, crystal cells, except I'm just going to use Rochelle salt. So right here, you see I got some Rochelle salt as a powder form. So I'm going to take that. I need to clean this out. This is a ladle. I got a Chinese grocery store. And I'm going to put it in there and use my propane torch and the lighter and uh, heat it up, melt it down, and pour it into here and hopefully it doesn't like dissolve my mold because I know it's got hot glue and all 
um, plastics foam put it in that mold and then I'll once I get it in there I'll compress it like this probably do it this way compress it and then hook my electrodes up to this this is how I got it set up so I got my little meter here and this this meter will tell me I got hooked up to each polarity that meter will tell me uh, what polarity uh, it is at you know which sides positive which sides negative once I determine that then I'll hook up my DC uh, power supply I got it set to 12 volts and I'll hit this with 12 volts of DC current and that should polarize this crystal block Rochelle salt I'm using Rochelle salt only because uh, that might be what Paul Bowman was using since that's what they used in um, record player stylus yeah, I just got done uh, melting. You can see there's some in there still. That Rochelle salt. It's uh, clear. Um, apparently, I had more than I needed. And uh, I went ahead and I pressed it down into that little box. It seemed to be working fine. And I'm polarizing it. You can see there's a little bit of bubbles coming up from, from me polarizing it. <clears throat> I got hooked up here. I turned down to 3 volts because it was bubbling too much. It boiled out on the pavement here. And, uh, well, anyway, hopefully, this will make a nice little crystal, polarized crystal. And then uh, next, I'll put coils around it. And I tested it first here with this to make sure that I had the polarity correct. And I did. It turns out that the copper side is the positive, and the aluminum side would be the, the negative. 